Hello everyone and welcome back to this course on Windows 10. In this module I want to talk to you a little bit about sharing files and documents and also sharing printers with other people on your network. So we're going to start by going through a demonstration of how you can share individual files and folders with other people on your network. Then I'm going to show you how you can install a printer and then share that printer with other people on your network. Now, more often than not, there's going to be times when you're going to want to share files with other people. Now, you can definitely share files with external friends and colleagues, but you can also share files very easily with other members of your family who are connected to your private network. So I'm going to run through some options that you have when it comes to sharing files, documents, images, and also sharing devices like printers. So I'm currently in my pictures folder and you can see here I have a number of different folders and also just some individual pictures. And if I want to share these with other people, it's a very straightforward process from within File Explorer. So for example, if I select this picture, hold down control and select the other three, if I want to share these with somebody, I can just jump up to my ribbons and you'll see the second ribbon there is a share ribbon. And this gives me all of the different options that I have when it comes to sharing these files with other people. So let's click on this first button, the share button. It's telling me that I'm about to share four items. And then it says we need some more information. Tap to choose someone who you want to share to. So I can click here and it's going to jump me into my contacts list and I can then scroll through and I can select someone to share these files with. Alternatively, if I jump back to share, I can choose to share with somebody nearby using Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. So if I have a family member who has Bluetooth turned on, maybe on their phone or on their laptop, I can share files with that person that way. Or alternatively, I can choose one of these options listed underneath. Now, I actually want to share these photos via an email, so I'm going to select Mail. And there we go. It automatically attaches those photos. I can type in the name of the person that I want to share with, click on Send, and I've shared those pictures. Now, you'll notice also on the Share ribbon, we have an individual email button. So again, that will let me email the selected items to a particular person. I can choose to zip, so maybe I have lots of files selected and they're quite a large file size. Before I share them, I might want to reduce that file size by choosing to zip them. So again, if I click zip, it's going to create a zip folder for me. And then when I go into that folder, those are my four image files saved into that zip folder. Now, once I've got my files into my zipped folder, I could then choose to share this folder. Now, one thing to point out here is that these folders and files that you can see sitting here underneath this PC pictures, these are actually in my OneDrive. So if I expand OneDrive up here, you can see I have my pictures folder and we're basically seeing in there exactly what I'm seeing when I'm clicked on pictures underneath this PC. So effectively, these are all saved or backed up into OneDrive. Now, the reason why that's important is because if I now want to share this particular folder, and this time I'm going to use a slightly different method, I'm going to use the right click menu. You can see the share option there has that cloud icon. So that means you're about to select a function that's in OneDrive. And when I click that, it takes me to this little OneDrive send link box. And what I can simply do is I can enter in the name of the person that I want to share this folder with. I can add a message if I want to. And I can also choose how this link can be handled by the person or people that I'm sending it to. So currently it says anyone with this link can edit. And if I click here, I can modify some of these settings. So currently I'm sending this folder to Adam and I'm saying that I'm going to allow him to edit this folder. So that might be that he can do things like move the files around, delete the files, things like that. 
Now, if you don't want anyone touching anything in that folder, you just want them to be able to view the folder, then you can come in here and untick this option. I could also set an expiration date. So essentially, this says you can view this folder up until a certain date. And at that date, this link will expire and the person's access to that folder will be removed. And finally, I could also set a password if I wanted to. Now, I'm not going to in this case. I'm just going to say apply to those settings. And I have a couple of different options down here. So I can click on the send button and that's going to send an email to Adam with a link to this particular folder. Alternatively, if I wanted to send this folder to maybe 50 different people, I don't really want to have to go through adding 50 names into this little area up here. A much quicker way of doing that would be just to copy the link. So OneDrive essentially creates a shareable link. I'm going to say copy and I can then paste that link into an email and maybe send it out to a distribution list that I have set up or a group. Now, one thing you'll notice once you've shared a file and I'm actually going to switch views. So this is a little bit more obvious is that you can now see that the folder that I've shared now has this little person icon next to it. So that's telling me that this is a shared folder. And what I could do is I could jump back to my share ribbon. And if I decide that I no longer want to give Adam access to this folder, I have a remove access option in here. And you can see it says stop sharing the selected items. So let's remove Adam's access. I'm going to say stop sharing and there we go. So now let's walk through the process of adding a printer and sharing a printer with other people on your network. So I've jumped into printers and scanners and all I've done is do a search for printers in the search bar. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the add a printer or scanner button at the top. Windows 10 is going to scan my network for any printers. And just so you understand my setup, I have a printer next to me that has Wi-Fi enabled. Now, if you don't have a printer that has Wi-Fi, then you may need to physically plug that printer via USB or some other connection into your laptop or PC. But the actual process of setting it up within Windows 10 is exactly the same. So you can see there it's found one printer. So I'm going to select it and click on add device. You can see that Windows 10 is now attempting to connect to that device. Once it finds it, it's going to set up all the settings. And I can now see that it's added my printer into the printers and scanners list underneath. Now, if I wanted to share this printer with maybe other members of my family who are on my network, it's a very simple process. All you need to do is click on your installed printer and click on the manage button. Now there's various different things that you can do in here. So you can do things like print a test page if you want to make sure that your printer is working correctly. There's also a troubleshooter in here as well. And you can modify some of your printing preferences from here also. The one I'm interested in is printer properties. Now again, we have lots of different tabs running across the top, but we're interested in sharing. So I'm going to jump across to the sharing tab. Now you can see here it says if you share this printer, only users on your network with a username and password for this computer can print to it. And the printer will not be available when the computer sleeps. So I'm going to say change sharing options. I'm going to say share this printer and I might want to give it a different name. So I might want to say Deb's printer Canon. So everyone knows which one we're talking about. I'm going to say apply and then OK. And now essentially anybody else who's connected to my network, when they go into file print or they invoke that print dialog box in any way, they're going to be able to see that Canon printer listed. So hopefully that's given you more of an idea as to how you can share files and folders and also set up a printer and share that with other people on your network. That's it for this module. I will see you in the next one. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. Now, to see the full seven and a half hour Windows 10 course, click over there. And click over there 
to watch all the videos in this Windows 10 playlist.